going to open it to a random, do not fear, do not grieve, rather rejoice in the good news. Hello guys, so welcome, thanks for clicking. So this non-Muslim opened the Quran on a random verse and she couldn't stop crying. Let's check it out. I would do what some people on TikTok have done, which is to take my Quran and to open it to a random um, ayah and see see what it says. So I'm going to do that now. Consider the day when the enemies of God will be gathered for the fire, all driven in ranks, and when they reach it, their ears, eyes, and skin will testify against what they used to do. And they will ask their skin furiously, why have you testi testified against us? It will say, we have made to speak by God, who causes all things to speak. He is the one who created you the first time. And to him you were bound to return. You did not bother to hide yourselves from your ears, eyes, and skin to prevent them from testifying against you. Rather, you assumed that God did not know much of what you used to do. It was that false assumption you entertained about your Lord that has brought about your doom. So you have become losers. Even if they endure patiently, the fire will always be their home. And if they beg to appease their Lord, they will never be allowed to. We placed at their disposal evil, evil associates who made their past and future misdeeds appealing to them. So the fate of earlier communities has been justified against them as well, for they were truly losers. The disbelievers advised each other, do not listen to this Quran, but drown it out so that you may prevail. So we will certainly make the disbelievers taste a severe punishment, and we will surely repay them according to the worst of their deeds. This is the reward of God's enemies, the fire, which will be their eternal home, a fitting reward for their denial of our revelations. The disbelievers will then cry, Our Lord, show us those who led us astray. We will put them under our feet so that they will be among the lowest in hell. Surely those who say our Lord is God and then remain steadfast, the angels descend upon them saying, Do not fear, do not grieve, Rather, rejoice in the good news of paradise, which you have been promised. We are your supporters in this worldly life and in the hereafter. There you will have whatever your souls desire, and there you will have whatever you ask for. An accommodation from the all-forgiving and most merciful Lord. Okay. Well... If that isn't a message to clarify things for me a little bit, I don't know what is. Whew, that particular verse of the Quran was powerful. Let us understand that you are not left alone in this world. God is with you. Even though, even though you are fighting a lot of battle, He will see you through. Allah will see you through. And that paradise would be there for as long as you are following you are following the ways of Allah even though in good times or bad times you are sticking to Allah your reward is in heaven is in paradise and uh, that was a powerful one even when she was reading to the end of the Quran I was touched I was like wow that particular verse I think second to the last verse she read second to the last and the last one had a lot of powerful meaning and wow 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 the fact that 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 particular verse speaks a lot to her you know when you think about the goodness of god also there are some things that you, especially when you don't expect something from a particular thing and the thing exceeds your imagination or it proves you wrong you'll be shocked you know it's her first time reading the quran and i'm sure she would have heard a lot about islam wrongly and she wanted to see what the quran entails and how powerful the the quran was and when she read it she was amazed that wow so this quran carries a lot of 
strong, powerful meanings that would change your life. And she was short of words after reading because you could see her tearing up because that verse was so powerful to her. It had a lot of meaning to her. And wow, I was moved, guys. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.